Hi guys, this is Bhupendra Singh and you are watching our YouTube channel SME Dardu. Today, I will tell you how you can calibrate GPS with Arduino IDE. So, let's start. And guys, to design this project, we need the following components. Arduino Uno or customized Atmega 328 board, GPS Neo, breadboard and few jumper wires. And this is the circuit diagram. You need to connect your hardware according to this circuit. So let's connect the hardware first. This is breadboard. We will connect the hardware in the breadboard. This is GPS Neo. As you can see it has 4 wire. VCC, RX, TX and ground. So we place GPS on the breadboard. Now we take 3 male to female wires connect them to VCC, TX and ground pins. We don't require RX pin. This is customized Atmega 328 board. This board is compatible with Arduino ID and works as Arduino Uno. You can use Arduino Uno if you don't have this customized board. Now connect VCC pin of GPS to 5V pin of customized board. Connect ground pin to ground and TX pin of GPS to two number pin of customized board connection has been done same connections you can do for the Arduino Uno. now download the program so go to the video description and click on the given link to download the program once you click on the link you will redirect to the github website here you got the code button click on that and after it click on download zip as you can see zip file has been downloaded so go to the location of download here you code the zip file with name gps calibration master right click on it and click on extract here you will get the extracted folder with the same name if you don't have winzip or winrar software to unzip it then you can download the software from the link that is available in the video description now go inside the folder and open the arduino program file with arduino id in the top of the program we have include the library of tiny gps after it we have included the software serial header file here we create gps variable for tiny gps now we create serial port at 2 and 3 number pin of customized board as GPS port by using software serial library. We have taken SZ as 32 byte character type array to store the date and time and year as an integer type variable. We take different variable as byte to store the day, month, time etc. Here we take age as an unsigned long variable. Now in the setup function, we serially begin the board at 9600 board rate and below we begin the GPS software serial port on the same board rate as 9600. Here we make a function get GPS where we pass the GPS value that we get directly from the GPS serial port. Now we define two float type variable as longitude and latitude to store the GPS longitude and latitude. We call the GPS F get position function that will decode the longitude and latitude of GPS. We have created a link of Google map so that you can directly copy and paste this link to your web browser and you can get the location directly. This will display you the exact location in Google map. So I serially print it after it latitude and then longitude. Below we serially display the speed of the GPS. What is the mean of this? If you want to measure the speed of any vehicle then you just put this GPS module to that vehicle and you will get the approximation speed of that vehicle serially. If you will interface it with LCD display or with any IoT server then you will also get the speed and location in your mobile phone and in LCD. Now we decode the time and date by using GPS crack date time function and store that to SZ 
character type array and print it serially. Now in the loop function, we start the timer for getting the serial data every second. And if the GPS device attached with the defined pin, then we store each byte to a character type variable using GPS port available function. Below we commented the serially print of these bytes. Why? I will explain it later. Here we decode the GPS data from the variable a by using GPS encode function. If GPS signal has sound strength and we are getting proper data, then we pass GPS data to get GPS function. So this is our complete program of GPS. So now we need to download the GPS library for our program. Go to the sketch tab and click on the include library. Click on the manage libraries. This time your computer must be connected to the internet. It will download all the list of available libraries. Search here Tiny GPS and you will get it. Click on the install button to install it to Arduino IDE. After installation of library, back to the program. What we need to do now? We just remove the slash from this line that will serially print the raw data of GPS and block these lines. By doing this, we just serially print the raw data of GPS. What's the requirement of it? It will help us to check whether we are getting the proper GPS data or not. Once we get the complete tracing of GPS, then we will decode the required data from it. So now connect your board to your computer and go to the tools and select the board as Arduino Uno. Select the port as COM4 and click on upload button. As you can see uploading has been done. Now open the serial monitor. If you are not getting the data then change the board rate 9600 as I do from here and also check the connectivity of wire of GPS with your board. As you can see we are getting the GPS data but we are not getting the complete data of GPS here. We just stop the auto scroll. You can see it here. It will take 3 minutes to 15 minutes to get the complete GPS data. It is also depend on the location. GPS new trace 6 satellite maximum. After 5 minutes we are getting the proper GPS data. If you are still not getting the proper GPS data then put your board in the open space so that GPS can get the good strength of signal. So now back to the program. We remove these lines and close the serial printing of raw data so that we print the required data of GPS. Now upload the program to the board. Open the serial monitor. As you can see, we are getting the proper data with latitude and longitude, speed, date and time. So let's trace the location. Copy this link with latitude and longitude. Open the web browser and paste it. As you can see, we got the exact location that our GPS Neo provides us. So guys, this is how we can calibrate the GPS and decode the location with other required data. You can use this to any kind of project like human tracker, luggage tracker, animal tracker, vehicle tracker, robot tracker, etc. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and videos. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the latest update of our videos. If you have any query or suggestion, write it in the comment box below. All the material related to this video available in the video description. You can download it from there.